Hey, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about being overqualified for employment. Okay, so for the last couple of days, I've been trying to get outside and do a video. I don't know if you guys notice this, but I try to do as many outside as I do inside, just to vary it up a little bit, just not always sitting in the same desk all the time. And you get to see a little bit of England at the same time if you don't already live here. But the problem is this time of year, the weather could be windy and rainy, and that's definitely the case today. So I thought I would compromise by doing the video in front of the window. So anyway, so, being out of work is really difficult. If you've ever been out of work looking for a job, you know how tough it can be. You've got family, you've got bills, you've got th a lot of people depending on you, and you're looking for work. So a lot of times you'll just take a job to do anything while you find something better, which is always a good plan. I've, I, I worked in a factory for a few months while I was looking for another job. I know lots of people do that. It's like a, a normal thing, right? And every so often you'll meet somebody who who's been out of work for a long time and they'll say something like and you'll be like why, why haven't you been able to find a job in in all this time and, and every so often somebody will say something like i can't find a job because i'm overqualified i've heard that a couple of times and i thought and i always thought wait a second you can't find a job because you're overqualified really you're overqualified underqualified i can understand but why would anybody not hire you because you were overqualified? And you hear the term all the time, and, and I've, I've always been very skeptical of it. But last week, I interviewed somebody, and he was really, really good for the position we were looking for. He was really, really good. But the reason I didn't hire him, and this sounds so stupid, I can't believe I'm saying this, was because he's overqualified, right? He was... He had so much experience and I needed him to do one little thing, right? He would have been taking a much lower salary than he should have had in order to do the one little thing that I needed, but he had all of this experience, right? And even though I would have lucked out having him do this one little thing, I keep thinking I would be doing an injustice to him to hire him and he would get bored so easily, right? And I started to understand what overqualified means and it was really strange. The way I, only way I could think of as a comparison is like if you ran a sandwich shop, right, where you just made sandwiches and then you had somebody apply for a job and he was a world-class chef. He worked at the best restaurant in town and he was, he was used to a, a wide, diverse menu and he was, but he was on hard times and he was just trying to find something just to pay the bills and he wanted to work in your sandwich shop. If you hired him, he would raise the quality of everything. He would make the best sandwiches ever but how long would that last? He would get bored with it and you would not be using him to his full potential, right? It was such, it was such a strange thing because I think I should help this guy out by giving him a job, but then it would probably only be for a couple of weeks or months or until he found something better. And I, I didn't want to invest in that at the time. So I start to understand what overqualified means. And not to say that if you're overqualified, you shouldn't apply for things, because you should. And sometimes you need that job. You need that security, um, security guard job or that factory job or whatever, working at McDonald's in order to make ends meet in, in order to do it. But um, I, just, I just never thought I would end up in that kind of thing. So I mean, have you, so, and I don't think I've, I mean, I've had jobs I've gone into probably where I was overqualified for. And I knew it. Like I took on a, like a contract, which was, you know, just a web developer. So I was like, I was used to working in a larger organization. I work at a small company as a web developer, just because, you know, overpass running out of money, and I needed to just supplement the income. This was back in like, you know, 2006, 2007. So I take on a job, and once you go into a new place, you're doing the job for, you know, a few weeks, and you start saying you know what, we should change our processes on how we use source code control. We should be doing this in a better way. We should do, be doing this more efficiently. And you start trying to change things and it comes clear that the people who hired you don't want you to change things. They just want you to do the thing they hired you to do. They want you to do this much and you want to give them that much. And it gets really, really hard and really difficult. And eventually I just end up leaving because look for something more challenging. So. As much as I always thought if I hired somebody and they had this much experience and I gave them this, a job that's this big, that would be ideal because they would be able to bring so much more to the table. I find it more beneficial to find somebody who has this much experience and I want them a role that's like a little bit bigger so they can stretch themselves and improve. And it's always the right person who's willing to grow 
rather than the person who's running on hard times and, and just needs to shrink for a while. Although that's like a normal thing. But anyway, I, I felt kind of bad about it. So I, I just want to let you ask you guys your opinion. Have you ever been in a situation where you were overqualified for a job and you took it anyway? Or where you're hiring somebody and you hire somebody who was overqualified and it worked out or it didn't work out? Because you know, it was it was it was an awkward awkward decision. Uh, yeah, I, I never thought I would would end up saying that. You know, I, I was talking to my team about it, and I kept coming say he would be you know he would be able to do this job very easily with all his experience. He'd be able to do this very easily, but I couldn't see him not getting bored. He would get bored so fast. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. It's, you know. I just, I just, it's an interesting it's an interesting topic. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.